Hello everybody and welcome to uh, my little cheesy video. Hey, I just wanted to uh, document this for and also give a special shout out to uh, to a fellow YouTuber. Some of you may remember this frequency counter that I did uh, a repair on earlier this year, last year, somewhere in there. And my attempt at replacing all the digits, this here was the bad one. And uh, didn't pay no, never mind to what the uh, illuminance was on what was in there. And I ended up with these bright ones. And uh, put that in. That's part number. Put that in, and as you see, I have this really, really nice, bright uh, display. I now refer to this frequency counter as a Cyclops. In that video, I made a comment that I'm going to need to try to find somebody who's a little bit more skilled at this than I to uh, to repair this. Because when, when I did this, it was a challenge, and I ended up losing... Three or four, five, six pads. I don't remember. It, it was a uh, Frankenstein kind of repair. Total, total nightmare. So, you know, I know my limits and I stopped. And um, this is where I'm at. And I, this is what I've been using, um, looking at when I use this frequency counter. This is an awesome freak counter. I love this thing. I think everybody should own one. Well, that's what this video entails. Finally found somebody, somebody I've been watching uh, since they almost started their channel. And somewhere along the way, YouTube had dropped my subscription. And uh, I hadn't seen him in a while and thought about him and, and went and found him and resubscribed. And then uh, I, I binged uh, all their, pretty much all their videos to date. A few of you are familiar and a few of you can appreciate his work. The rest of you, I highly recommend you go sub and check out his channel. Guy's name is Buddy, and he's over there at the radio place here on YouTube. Look in the um, look below this video, and I'll definitely include a link to his YouTube channel. The guy is phenomenal. He does awesome work. He's right up there with Mr. Carlson. His work is just phenomenal. He does a lot of RF work, but he also works occasionally on, you know, other other stuff, but primarily RF work. And he is into vintage gear. You can definitely learn and take away something from him for your project. Anyway, I'm about ready to pull this frequency counter out of line, and I'm going to remove this display and I'm going to ship it off to him tomorrow. When I get the display back and get this all reassembled, we'll come back and re we will revisit. Um, and we'll probably actually might even revisit, uh, or not revisit because we've never visited, but we'll look at his work um, just before I put it back in the board. I'm looking very much forward to getting this frequency counter back with the nice big displays. Now, I'm just, just sending him the uh, display module and the parts, and that's it. He'll uh, remove and replace. Send it back to me. I'll stab it back in, and we will go from there. Anyway... Thanks for watching my video. Hope uh, the wiggles and jiggles wasn't too much for you. Very exciting. We have it back. Now, for those of you who have not had a chance to watch the video on where Buddy repaired this display module, I will not steal his thunder. I'm just showing you a tad bit of his video Highly recommend you go watch this video if you have not already. There will be a direct link below in the uh, in the description. And while you're there, do yourself a favor and subscribe and let him know Jack sent you over. He'd appreciate that. Really, he would. Ain't that right, buddy? Okay, so 
Wow, this is, uh, this is really nice. He did a fantastic job. As you remember, we had all the original display modules on there, with the exception of the one that I replaced. Of course you remember it because you just saw the video, but for us behind the scenes, well, as you saw the, uh, the fade in in between scenes two months later. I'm, uh, I'm looking very much forward to getting this frequency counter put back in line. I do miss it, even though it's not my primary freak counter. I do enjoy the freak counter just the same. It's freaky. Why wouldn't you? Look at that fantastic job that he's done. That looks so much better. Uh, it's going to be great not having a, a Cyclops, I can tell you that much. One thing that he did, or should I say he didn't do, was the fact that he did not remove the film off of the face of these digits. And I appreciate that very much. I have no intention on removing it. Just leave it on there. Protect the display. It's not going to do any harm. I know there's a lot of great debate out there that over time it'll stick and uh, may cause issues. I don't know. I'm going to leave it on. And here we are looking at the solder side, circuit side. Or not the circuit side, but the foil side. And you can see the fantastic job that he's done here. You cannot even tell that it's been replaced. I mean, you look at it, the digits here, and then you come over here and you look, or up here, and you cannot tell that it's been changed. It looks like it's been there all along. And that's very cool. And for those of you that have watched my earlier video, was when I went in originally to replace the bad digits, I had a heck of a time pulling the uh, displays out. In fact, when I did that, I ended up losing, I don't know, half of the uh, traces, at which time I ended up having to run jumpers from the pen over to an, uh, um, the, uh, the trace where I was able to access it, which worked fine. It's not a problem, but still, it looked like a hack job, and it wasn't, uh, wasn't very nice. So in Buddy's video, what he did, and again, I'm not still in his thunder. I'm not going to show it. You'll need to go watch it. And I really do recommend it, you know, even if you don't care about this uh, project per se, if you've never seen how traces are replaced and repaired, then you should at least watch the uh, video for that value alone. It's pretty amazing, pretty awesome, and it's something that you should be able to take away and use in your future projects that have trace issues. Again well worth the watch. The next step is uh, to stab this back in the counter and turn on the pretty lights and watch it illuminate. That was something Buddy could not do in his video to show his users. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I will not do that on camera. It's a mundane uh, chore and I would pretty much get in the way of the camera. I'll get that stabbed in and then we'll come back and we'll demo it. All right, I have it all, well, not all put back together, but I have it partially put back together. Just enough for testing. I still need to put the case on and button it up and uh, all that good stuff. But I got it all, this part mounted, the electrical plugged in. And I have AC mains ready to go. Just got to throw the big red switch. And I've got a 10 megahertz signal running into it. So let's go ahead and hit the big red switch. Now when I say big red switch, it's because I'm on my isolation variac transformer. Because you never know. You, you'll hear the big thump. Alright. Let me kill my overhead light. Should be bright enough to see when I hit this switch. And here we go. So we're going to see this for the first time together. Here we go. Wow. Holy cow, is that thing bright in person. <laughs> I was looking at it through the monitor and I uh, didn't realize until I looked over. Wow. Let me adjust the camera. That is bright. Wow. Very, very, very bright. 
before the old display was was dim it shined through you know but uh, there is no doubt about it you will definitely be able to see this display it is it's awesome that's all I could say nice and bright now this thing looks brand new just for the heck of it let me try a let me punch this in it's changing my resolution now I do need to do a alignment to the freak counter but as you can see it's not that bad one of the uh, one other thing I want to do with this uh, frequency counter, and I thought I was going to do it on this video, but this video is already too long as it is. I will do it in a future video, future product project, and that is I'm, I want to add a 10 megahertz reference input on this. The owner's manual or service manual tells you how to do that, so I definitely will do that in a future video. Let me go ahead and change frequencies. And here we have a 5 meg signal. Pretty good, pretty good. And here we have a 500k signal. And here we have the same signal but we're on the other port. Okay, so the next test I want to do is for the crystal. Have a I can't see it, but a 10 meg crystal. You know, when you're shopping on eBay, you get a bunch of suggestions. And this was one of them. Uh, 10 megahertz crystals, 10 of them, 99 cents shipped. How could you go wrong? So let's go ahead and put that over on crystal. We'll stick this in the little hole. I can see it. I think that's pretty good. Let me uh We'll try another crystal here. This is um, an unmarked package. It could be uh, 3392, but then again, that could just be the part number. We'll find out. Thirteen meg. And we'll try one more and then we'll conclude the video. These last crystals that I'm playing with, separate purchase off of eBay. Here we have that style crystal and no frequency on there. FS 143-2. Very cool. It's one of the many reasons I like this frequency ca uh, counter. I almost called it a camera. And now I'm going to like it a whole bunch more with those big, nice, and bright displays. All right, well, we will go ahead and conclude this video now. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And a big thank you to Buddy at the radio place, or the radio shop. Sorry about that. And uh, again, go watch the video, subscribe, and like. You will like. Getting lost here in my, my crystals.